Throughout the years as working as a financial advisor, I've seen pretty much every type of personality. I remember meeting a guy earning over a million dollars a year and was completely broke. I also remember meeting a high school teacher in their 30s who had a net worth of $4 million. What I came to realize is there's a few common traits that set aside people who are doing well financially and those who are just playing a status game. So I want to cover some key signs that you might actually be doing better financially than you really think. And to do that, we must first define what is doing well financially. Many of us see today on TikTok or Instagram that being rich means having a fast car, going to bikini parties, and drinking copious amounts of champagne. When in fact, that is doing something that I like to call a 30k millionaire or somebody playing the status game. If you earn $30,000 a year, there is no way, zero exceptions, you should be buying a Rolex. Here's an easier example. Unless you regularly visit a racetrack, why would a normal person want to buy a Lamborghini? Is it for the space in the trunk? No. Is it for economical factors like it being good on fuel? No. Is it good for family and school runs? Also, no. It is because you instantly see a Lamborghini and think, that person's rich and that person is buying status. This can be said for those also who go and flex on a Rolex or even the latest iPhone. Just because you see somebody who has an item that society has deemed to be better than the one you have doesn't mean they're doing better than you financially. The guy I mentioned earlier who earned over a million dollars a year was driving an Aston Martin DB9 the year I met him. And he was driving this car right up until the point in 2018 when it was repossessed and he was forced to declare bankruptcy. To quote MJ DeMarco, he had 90 grand of image and two bucks of common sense. We can all put stuff on credit to show that we have made it and want to get instant status gratification. But this is actually faking it. It is not a sign of doing well financially. The true meaning of doing well financially is that you are doing wealth in what I call the wealth game, not the status game. So how can you tell if you're ahead in the wealth game? Well, over the years, I have noticed that there are six obvious signs that somebody is doing well financially, and they all point to one key sign, which can show you if a person is doing well financially right off the bat, even on a first impression. A simple sign to show that you're doing better than others financially is by just having an emergency fund. Here's a super scary stat. If you have just three months emergency expenses saved, you are already ahead at 50% of Americans. This stat shows just how easy it is with a little bit of willpower you can get ahead in the wealth game. And let's be honest, every single person watching this video with a little bit of determination and grit can get and achieve three months of expenses into their emergency fund in very little time. Another sign that you're doing better than others financially is just having a simple plan and budget each and every month. This shows that you are responsible and in control and meet both your spending and saving targets each and every month. If I was to walk into a shop, say an electronic shop right now, I know exactly what free cash I have to play with for the rest of the month. Doing this aspect of planning alone will put you ahead of way more people than you think. Having a plan and knowing where you are right now stops you being reckless with your money and shows you can handle your own personal finances and will put you ahead of majority of people financially. Which brings me on to my next point. One of the biggest traits I have seen through managing over 50 millionaires is they all have the ability to live below their means. Now, this is a completely true story and I'm probably going to get told off for telling it. My best friend is getting married in December, so a big congratulations to him. Not too long ago, him and his future wife went to go and buy a house. They went into a bank in 2021 and asked how much they could borrow. Given they both have good careers, they could get quite a decent chunk. The bank offered them £360,000. They have zero kids and don't even have a dog, so they went ahead and bought a brand new five-bedroomed detached house 
for, you guessed it, £360,000. Now, currently, they can afford this, but if interest rates stay high after their five-year fixed term, problems are probably going to arise and they may struggle. They're going to have to make sacrifices somewhere along the line. Life can quickly get harder if you max out what you can actually afford. They could have easily just went and got a house for £100,000 less with four bedrooms, three of which they still don't need. They did not live below their means, even against my constant nagging. Just because you can afford something doesn't mean you need to go all in on it. Now, another sign you're doing well financially is how you approach and how you manage debt. Now, in my new course, which is a shameless plug, I talk about good and bad debt. Not all debt is created equal, but regardless, good or bad, the ability to control and manage it without feeling overwhelmed is another sign you're doing well financially. When you see a friend pulling out a credit card, you usually see a smile or a smirk. It's either a nervous one or a confident one. Seriously, when you see your friends using credit cards, check it out. It's completely weird. Now, before we get into the most obvious sign that you're nailing the wealth game, I want to talk about the three big pitfalls that can show you're not doing well financially. And if you are hitting any of these points, you really need to look at making some changes very soon. The first sign is that you see budgeting and planning out your finances as boring. A recent common theme I seen on Twitter, probably because of New Year's resolutions, is people hating on Excel and talking about stress when budgeting. If you feel this way, it's probably because you do actually have a problem within your finances and it pains you to realize it. Most likely, it's because you have some reckless spending habits. But if you stick with it and you get through the pain, eventually your budgeting process will get better and you'll start to even enjoy the whole process because you will see progress each and every month. A simple hack I developed for a friend of mine a couple of years ago was take your laptop to Starbucks. Order your favorite coffee and your best bag sit down with your laptop, your headphones in, and fill out your complete budget. This simple reward of a coffee and a bagel will help you stick to your budget and make you feel a little bit better about doing it. The next bad sign is what I call borrowing money for Ray-Bans. Here's another true story. When I was younger, had less hair, and was much more cooler, I went to Ibiza, and I forgot my sunglasses, so I did what anybody does. I went and bought some in the airport. I picked up some banging new Ray-Bans. Of course, I wasn't going to dip into my euro spending money because I needed them for beer tokens. So I put it on a credit card. I then went on, had a great time, forgot about the purchase, even went on to lose the Ray-Ban somewhere in the Mediterranean Sea. Months go by and you can kind of guess I well overpaid for those sunglasses. A bank rate survey shows that 59% of millennials are using credit cards for living expenses. This means that they all run the risk of overspending and worse, paying interest on milk and bread. If you are having to use debt to live, or worse, pay for something you do not necessarily need, then you probably have a big spending problem, and you are falling into the status game I mentioned earlier. The final sign that you're not doing great financially is that you worry constantly about a bill coming up out of the blue. If you take your car in for a service and are worried that the mechanic tells you there's a thousand dollar repair and you're freaking out about it, you probably have a problem with in your finances. Overall, if you worry about money in pretty much any way, then it's a sign that you could potentially be planning better. So now on to the key to know if you are truly doing well in the wealth game, and that is knowing your current total net worth. If you calculated your total net worth each and every month, like I teach in my course, over time, you should see an upward trend. Seeing your net worth increase, even just a small amount each and every month, will give you some good gratification and a vital dose of dopamine. It will install you with a hell of a lot of confidence in your personal finances. But what is more, it is a true sign that you are doing well financially as it shows which way you're heading. Ultimately, 
say the key to being financially successful is having the confidence in your own money management skills. If you take small little steps often enough, they will result in a record marathon time. And if you're wondering where you could start to improve your own wealth game, it all starts with the simplest paycheck hack that makes everything else fall in place and I go in depth here why it is super important that you take care of this right away.